Hello everyone. In this video, we will be graphing inequalities on a number line. Before we jump into these examples right here, we need to remember that if we get this inequality greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, we are going to use a solid circle or we're going to use a bracket. On the other hand, if we have a greater than or less than, we use the open circle or parentheses. So notice the difference between these two. So the first one, we use solid circle if there's a bar underneath, and we are going to use an open circle if there's no bar underneath the inequality. So let's take these first two examples here x is greater than 3. So as you can see here, since there's no bar underneath, we're going to use an open circle on 3. So it's going to be an open circle on 3, and the direction of the arrow is to the right. So I can go ahead and uh, draw an arrow directed to the right. And this graph right here represents the solution to this inequality. Now, please remember that if we have an open circle, it means that this three is not included. So open circle means this value is not included, but the value greater than three will be the solution to this. And if we wanna write the solution to this in interval notation, we can go ahead and rewrite it as um, parentheses that's gonna be on three. So please remember that to write the um, interval notation, this is on three and this is going all the way to positive infinity. So the arrowhead tells us that it goes all the way to um, infinity, it's not gonna end. So then we can go ahead and write this as uh, first, we write the leftmost um, part, which is three and I use a, um, parentheses for this since that is an open circle and then it goes all the way to positive infinity and then um, if it's infinity we use a parentheses it's going to be a parentheses because we don't know it does not really end um, at infinity so this is our solution in interval notation and this is our solution in graph form now let's have this next example right here so x is greater than or equal to negative 6. So on negative 6, since there's a bar underneath, we are going to use a closed circle. So it's going to be a closed circle on negative 6. And the arrowhead is directed to the right. So I'm going to draw a line that is directed to the right. And so this is the solution to this um, inequality. So this graph represents the solution to this inequality. Now notice the difference between these two. So this one is an open circle, which means that uh, three is not included, but this is a closed circle. This means that negative six is included as a solution to this inequality. Now, if we express this solution in interval notation, just like how we did it over here, since that is on negative six, so we can label the um, leftmost part is negative six and this one goes all the way to positive infinity so then we can go ahead and uh, write the solution in interval notation starting on negative six now i'm going to use a bracket for this since this is a closed circle so that's gonna be on negative six and then it goes all the way to positive infinity and then remember if it's infinity we are going to use a parentheses so this is our solution in interval notation and this is our solution in graph form. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try these two problems out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the uh, problem here. It says x is less than or equal to negative 1. So on negative 1, it's going to be... Um, a closed circle since there is a bar underneath and then the direction of the arrow is to the left so I can create a line that again this line means that it goes all the way to infinity so this is the solution to this inequality again the negative one here is included since there's a bar underneath and this is a closed circle so it starts on negative one and then this is going all the way to negative infinity so if we want to um, express our solution in interval notation we start with the leftmost solution that is on negative infinity. So if it's infinity, we are going to use a parentheses and then it goes to negative one. And since this is a closed circle, we are going to use a bracket. So this is our solution in interval notation and this is our solution in graph form. Did you get the same answer as this? Yeah. 
Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next one right here. X is less than 4. So it's going to be on 4 and it's an open circle since there's no bar underneath. The arrowhead is directed to the left. So I can create a line that's directed to the left. And so this is going all the way to negative infinity. And this is at 4. So this is our solution in graph form. So uh, again, please notice that this one is included. So negative one is included as a solution to this, but the, the four here is not included since this is an open circle. So we can go ahead and write the uh, solution in interval notation that is negative infinity. And then that goes all the way to four since four is um, an open circle. So we're going to use a parenthesis. So this is our solution in interval notation. And this is our solution in graph form. Did you get the same answer as this? Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next one right here. So let's take these first two examples here. So these are pretty much the same things. The first um, uh, four problems that we did in the first slide. But the catch here is that we're supposed... It would be easier to graph this or to graph the solution of this if the x were into uh, were written on the left side. So we can go ahead and write the equivalent um, inequality for this. Now here's a trick to this. We are going to put the x on the left side. And then we switch the inequality sign. So that would be greater than negative 2. So these two inequalities that we have here, negative 2 less than x and x greater than negative 2 are equivalent inequalities. That means they are just the same. But it, it would be better to use this uh, in uh, graphing the solution than this one since the x is set up on the left. So then we can go ahead and graph this. It's going to be on negative 2. And it's an open circle since there's no bar underneath. So on negative 2, it's going to be open circle. And then the arrowhead is going to the right. So we can create a line all the way uh, going to the right. So this is the solution in graph form. This is on negative 2. And this one goes all the way to positive infinity. So then if we write the solution in interval notation, it's going to be a parenthesis on negative 2. And then positive infinity and it's going to be a parenthesis. So this is the solution in um, interval notation, and this is a solution in graphing form. Now let's move on to the next one right here. Again, if we want to change this to, um, uh, to get its equivalent inequality, that would be x less than equal to 1. So then it's going to be a closed circle on 1. So it's 1 right here. It's going to be a closed circle. And then um, the direction of the arrow is going to the left. So I can create a line going to the left. So this one is going to um, negative infinity. This is at 1. So if we want to express the solution in interval notation just like this, so that would be a negative infinity. And then it's going to be at 1. And we're going to use a bracket since that is a closed circle. So this is the solution in interval notation. And this is the solution in graph form. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try these two problems out on your own. And when you're done, and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the uh, problem here. Again, we can write the equivalent inequality for this. That would be x is less than 5. And this is the one that we use to graph the solution to this inequality. So that would be on 5. It's an open circle. And then it's going to go to the left. So the arrowhead is directed to the left. So this is going to negative infinity. And this is at 5. So if we write the solution in interval notation, that would be a parenthesis negative infinity and then all the way to 5. And it's going to be a parenthesis since this is an open circle. So this is our solution in interval notation. And this is the solution in graph form. Now let's move on to the next one here. So we can write the equivalent um, inequality for this. So that would be x is greater than equal to negative 3. So we're going to graph this one right here. So uh, it's going to be a closed circle on negative 3. So closed circle right here. And then it's going to go to the right. So it goes to the right. So if we write this... Uh, and ends of this, that would be negative 3 here. And this will go all the way to positive infinity. So then if we write the uh, solution in interval notation, that would be um, 
that would be a bracket, a bracket on negative three. Again, I, um, I use a bracket for this since that is a closed circle. And then it goes all the way to positive infinity and it's gonna be a parenthesis. So this is the solution in interval notation and this is the solution in graph form. Did you get the same answer for these two problems here? Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the next one right here. Okay, since we want x by itself on the left side, what are we gonna do is we are going to divide both sides by three. We're going to divide this by three. And so we, uh, we can cross the three out. So we are left with x is greater than five. And this will be the, uh, uh, this is a solution to this um, inequality up there. So then if we graph this inequality, that would be x uh, five, that would be on five, and it's gonna be an open circle. And then the arrowhead is directed to the right. So I draw a, a line directed to the right. So if we label this, this would be on five, and this would go all the way to positive infinity. So pretty much our solution um, in interval notation would be parentheses five. Again, I use parentheses because that's an open circle. Then it goes all the way to positive infinity. And this is our um, solution in interval notation. This time I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we move on to this problem right here. So we are going to divide this by two. We're gonna divide this by two, so then we can cross this out. So we're left with x is less than or equal to negative three. So we graph this inequality. It's gonna be a closed circle since there's a bar underneath on negative three. And then the arrow is directed to the left. So then we have here negative infinity and this is negative three. So if we write the solution in interval notation, that would be uh, parentheses negative infinity, that's the leftmost. And then we go to um, negative three and we're going to use a bracket since um, it's a closed circle. So this is the solution to this um, um, inequality right here. So this is the interval notation, and then this is the graph uh, solution. Did you get the same answer as this? Yeah. Good, perfect. Now let's move on to the next examples right here. So we're gonna go over the first one and I will give you a chance to do the other one right here. So um, what are we gonna do is, again, we, uh, we need to have x by itself on the left side. So then we go ahead and divide both sides by negative four and we divide this by negative four. Now please remember this. When we multiply or divide a negative to an inequality, we always switch the direction of the inequality sign. So then we can go ahead and cross this out, the negative four and negative four, but the answer that we're gonna have here would be x is greater than or equal to negative six. Again, we are going to switch the direction of the inequality sign since we are dividing a negative. So instead of going to the left or less than or equal to, I had to switch it to greater than or equal to since I divided a negative. So then we can go ahead and graph this. So it's gonna be a closed circle on negative six and then the direction of the arrowhead is directed to the right. So then we can go ahead and write this on negative six and this one will go all the way to positive infinity. So then the solution in interval notation would be a bracket on negative six. Again, I use a bracket because that's, that's a closed circle. And then that would go all the way to positive infinity and it's gonna be a parenthesis. So this is our solution in interval notation. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done and pause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the uh, problem here. Since we have a fraction here, we need to get rid of the fraction. When, to undo this fraction, we're going to multiply its reciprocal. Reciprocal means we flip this fraction and multiply across. So in this case right here, I can multiply this mean left side with negative three over two. So what I did was I flipped the fraction in order that I can undo this. And if I multiply this by negative three over two, I will do the same thing on the other side. So that's gonna be negative three. So that's gonna be negative three over two. So I multiplied it with negative three over two to make them even. So then from here, we can go ahead and cross the three and the three 
2 and the 2. So then we are left with just x. So negative of a negative is a positive x. So we're left with a positive x. Now, please remember that if we are multiplying or dividing a negative to an inequality, we always switch the direction of the inequality sign. So instead of uh, greater than, we are going to switch this the other way around. So it's less than. So negative 2 times negative 3 is a positive 6. Divided by 2 is a positive 3. Or you can go ahead and cross the 2 and 2 out. So that would leave us um, positive 3 because you have a negative and a negative makes it positive. So this is the one that we used to graph down here. So it's going to be an open circle on 3. And then the direction of the arrowhead is to the left. And again, this is going to negative infinity. This is on 3. So then we can go ahead and write the solution in interval notation. That's a parenthesis negative infinity. And then 3, it's going to be a, a parenthesis since that is an open circle. So this is our solution in interval notation. And this is our solution in graph form. Did you get the same answers as this? Good. Perfect. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!